LCF and LCM story problems. Today we will look at some story problems which are solved by finding the HCF or LCM. Let us begin. Example Find the greatest number that divides 204 and 64 without a remainder. Here we have to find the greatest number that divides two numbers which means we need to find the HCF of 204 and 64. Let us do it. Thus, HCF is equal to 4. So, the greatest number that divides 204 and 64 without a remainder is 4. Now, let us look at another example. What is the least number of children who may be arranged in rows of 12? 14 or 16 in each row. Here we have to find the least number of children, which means we need to find the LCM of 12, 14 and 16. So, let us find the LCM of these numbers. LCM of 12, 14 and 16 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 which is equal to 336. So, 336 is the least number of children who may be arranged in rows of 12 14 or 16 in each row. So kids, remember 1. When the greatest number which divides is asked, find the HCF. 2. When the least number which is divisible by is asked, find the LCM. Now let us solve some more problems related to our daily life. What is the maximum length of equal pieces that can be cut from two lengths of wire of 74 centimeters and 92 centimeters with a piece of 2 centimeters remaining of each? Now, what do you think we have to find here? Yes. Here, as the word maximum is used, we need to find the HCF. But before we find the HCF, as the length of the remaining piece of each wire, that is remainder, is given, we first need to subtract this remainder from the numbers. Thus, 74 minus 2 is equal to 72 and 92 minus 2 is equal to 90. Now we find the HCF of 72 and 90. Thus the HCF of 72 and 90 is 18. So the maximum length of equal pieces of wire that can be cut from two wires of 74 centimeters and 92 centimeters is 18 centimeters with a piece of 2 centimeters remaining of each. Now let us look at one last example. Four bells in a church toll at intervals of 6, 7, 8 and 9 seconds respectively. After how much time 
will they toll together again? Now, here as we have to find the minimum time after which they will toll together again, we find the LCM of 6, 7, 8 and 9. Thus, the LCM is equal to 2 cubed into 3 squared into 7 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 504. So, the bells will toll together again after 504 seconds. But, let us convert these seconds to minutes and seconds. Thus, by solving, we get the answer as 8 minutes 24 seconds. Thus, the four bells in the church will toll together again after 8 minutes 24 seconds. Did you notice? We find the HCF when the words such as greatest, largest and maximum are used. We find the LCM when the words such as least, smallest and minimum are used.